So um, well, I'm going to talk about traffic, that is a small, small tool that for me is quite useful. And I hope that maybe it will be useful for, two, for you too. Um, so uh, this is me, J.S. Valsera, in almost every social network. I worked as a backend developer at Kokomor. Now with Drupal, I used to work with PHP. And I'm not a sysadmin at all, OK? So this is a Docker session. But uh, don't expect some deep stuff. It's just something useful and something that should be fast. I'm lazy, and I'm not a sysadmin, so it works for me. Maybe it works for you. Uh, I guess that everyone faced this moment, OK, that uh, someone says, hey, Docker is cool. Let's use it. Let's try it. Let's uh, use all of us the same environment so uh, we, we have the same result as production, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, then I started with a really small Docker Compose file that it will just uh, download an image of a, a Docker uh, container that will use Apache, OK? And it will use the port 80. So you say, well, cool, let's see how it works. But it doesn't. <laughs> Why? Because it says, hey, that port is already in use. OK, so, well, OK, what can I do? <laughs> Let's uh, shut down Apache, and then let's start the container, and OK, it works. It's fair. Sounds fair. Right? <laughs> then you say, well, I have another project. Let's try another project. I have my uh, container already working. Let's start the other one. But it doesn't work. Why? Because, again, it's used by the other container. <laughs> so uh, what can I do? Well, let's use another port. I will bind the container 80 port to the 81 of my machine, and then everything works. I don't know if you see it, but localhost, localhost 81, it works. OK? I'm happy. <laughs> but then I have 10, 20, uh, 35 projects, and then I lost the count of the ports, or maybe I started a project, but uh, uh, Colleagues start uh, another project, and our projects are not the same. And I have 10 ports in use, and he has another one, and the configuration doesn't fit. And I cannot <laughs> possibly uh, think of every port and every configuration that they have. So maybe they should uh, exist something that automatically manages this for me. OK, and then uh, I get to know traffic. Uh, I think that it was in Twitter, but I don't remember exactly. Um, <laughs> the, when I saw this, actually, I sent it to Marcelo that is sending right now, and he said, hey, I'm facing the, same, the very same problem, and it fits perfectly for my needs. So what it does? Well, I don't understand any of this, because I'm not a sysadmin. <laughs> it's a reverse proxy and a load balancer, and it works with a lot of stuff, including Docker. And the key part is that dynamically uh, manage the configuration. So I don't have to care. And that's good, because I'm lazy. <laughs> so well, a cool image that you can find in the website of traffic. And what's the use that I have for this? Well, I use the, in the Docker Compose file, I use the labels, and I add some tags from the traffic, and I assign a name. I assign some information, and then I forget about containers and ports and everything. I use that name that I'm assigning to it. <coughs> and of course, I'm not a sysadmin. I use it for local development, me and some of my colleagues. Okay, So I'm not saying, hey, use this for production for some stuff. No, <laughs> I cannot say that to you. So it comes with a cool UI that you cannot see, I guess that it says uh, what containers it's detecting and the name that it's assigning, and also the local IPs that it's assigning to them. So you could also use the IP to, to access. And it works. It just works. I don't know if you can see it, but it says apache.docker.localhost and apache2.docker.localhost. It works. Cool, right? So uh, how? Well, you launch traffic. You can download the binary, and then add some configuration file that is not complex. Or you can just uh, download the Docker image and launch it, and it will more or less talk with your containers. 
Then you add the labels that they said, and well, mostly, that's all. <laughs> Not exactly, but mostly. So as you can see here, you have the labels and some information. And this one says the name, OK? It's just some text. I will, of course, upload the, the slide, but it's quite simple. And you also say the port, because uh, if your container exposes maybe three ports, it doesn't know which one has to bind. So you say, hey, please, the 80 from the container. And then if you are using uh, traffic inside a container too, you need to make them work together. So they have to be in the same network. OK, so in this case, I'm launching the, my, Docker, my project with the external network that traffic creates. But whatever works for you. So hey, this really worked great. Let's use it. Well, it's not so. I mean, it's not perfect. Nothing is a silver bullet, right? So it have it has a couple of things. I mean, you still have to stop your local Apache because they, it needs the port 80, of course. Um, maybe you can configure it for for not using it. But for me, <laughs> uh, you you need to. Um, but well. Uh, when I start to use a uh, Docker, I want every project to be inside the, that structure. I don't want to use my local Apache and a local MySQL for some projects and then some other containers. I prefer to have everything in containers. And then for me, it looks like it's better to use the binary. Why? Because um, maybe Pedro knows better, but uh, as far as I know, when you uh, start a Docker Compose file and it starts like for different containers. You can access one container to the other uh, with the name of the service. So you say, well, I have a container for Apache, and I have another one for the database. And the second one is called DB server. So from uh, Drupal, my configuration for the database is DB server. But if everything is in the same network, I think that those names can collide. I think that, that happened to me uh, once. Not sure, but. Uh, with the binary, I didn't have the problem. I could start several projects at the same time without any pain. So, <laughs> and then after all of this, this is this was all about traffic. Okay, uh, traffic. So, uh, but then uh, at dev days, well, I have another thing that I wanted to fix, and Pedro, hi, uh, gave me the solution for that at Drupal Developer Days in Seville. Um, as I said, I'm lazy. So I don't want to edit every time the, the file, the host file, to add every single project in Loga, right? And at first, when I created the names ending in localhost, Chrome directly uh, detects them. So I don't, not, I don't need to add anything to the host file. It knows that it's the localhost. But not for Firefox. And uh, even not for, for the console, for the CLI. So uh, thanks to Pedro, he told me that there is something that is called DNS uh, mask, um, where you can add a rule and you can say hey, everything that ends in dot .docker, dot .localhost, or whatever you want, please uh, know that it's localhost, is that. And then. Uh, I added the file to the uh, network manager configuration, I restarted, and everything worked fine. OK, so with this, you see that you have, you get the, the answer. And that's all. Maybe I was too fast, but. <laughs> uh, any question for, for Jesus? Did you have a look at Nginx proxy? That uh, is I, I don't the, for the same purpose. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that it was Nginx or HA proxy that they are also uh, prepared for that. But they don't, at least uh, my, my DevOps uh, <laughs> guy, colleague, it told me that it doesn't come with a new UI. And yeah, yeah oh, and, it and that it didn't start automatically. Oh, yeah. You had to restart it. Container. You <laughs> had to restart it and to. Getting know the containers that you are starting after. 
Well, I, I don't I know. I'm not exactly the solutions. Sure. Yeah, I'm in the same problem. Yeah, it's, it's mostly are. the same, and I'm sure that we <laughs> okay. all we all face it something Thank similar, you. right? Thank you. Any other one? Pedro, behind you. <laughs> not really a question, but a bonus tip. Uh, you can bind uh, traffic to 127.0.0.2. Okay. Dot zero dot zero dot and it, it works on the software. And you don't have to stop your local Apache. Okay. Thank you. As I said, I'm not a system. You need one for this kind of thing. Okay. Any other question? No? no. Thank you, everyone. Thanks.